Um, we seem to be having some software issues at the moment. Sit tight for a few minutes while we reboot some things, okay? Your qualifying pace didn't put you at the front of the grid. Will this be a problem tomorrow? Let's talk about another team. How do you feel they did today? Appreciate your time. Welcome along then to the North Sea coast and Zandvoort, 25 miles away from Amsterdam and the host for today's Dutch Grand Prix. It's a race the great Jim Clark won on four occasions, leading for an astonishing total of 370 laps. A lap of this short 2.6 mile Zandvoort circuit features 14 corners, 10 to the right and four to the left. The main straight is 678 meters long and heads into turn one, the Tarzan corner. With DRS down the main straight into the braking zone, that could be the best overtaking opportunity on the track. Alongside me to discuss all the action today is Anthony Davidson. Thanks for joining us, Ant. And tell me, you were down in the pit lane earlier. How do you think the track conditions are today? Well, it's looking a bit cold out there, if I'm honest. These tyres have quite a narrow operating window in terms of the temperatures they need to extract the best grip. So with a cold track surface, it's going to be harder to keep those temperatures up, which will lead to lower grip and maybe more mistakes. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Gasly, Carlos Sainz, and Norris, Perez, Ricardo, Stroll, and George Russell, Matsushita, Ocon, Moore, and Fettel, Sonoda, Joe, Nicholas Latifi and Antonio Giovinazzi, Mick Schumacher and Nikita Mazepin. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish.
been an incident on track resulting in loose debris.
some information on Gasly. They have some kind of mechanical problem. Gasly ahead. Okay, gap ahead is 7.9 seconds. They're on old hards. Their tires are 18 laps old. They seem to have an issue. The time last lap was a 1.11.8. You're gaining by 2 seconds a lap. Race over, take care of the car on the way in. A difficult race then on a circuit that demands complete concentration, but they've persevered to take the win here today. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? I really feel the track layout combined with the track temperatures we saw today suited their car. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature and the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today, everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. Max Verstappen should be pleased with his performance, making gains at the top of the table. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? I have to give it to Moore. They fought so hard and had incredible pace at times, so I don't think anyone else did a better job today. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, good work from Aston Martin this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time, be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One.
performance out there. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. A podium finish for your teammate. Will you be celebrating with them tonight? Do you think you were lucky not to end your race with that crash? Well, here's hoping they're working hard to find some improvements.